If you have let the battery get to a state where it will not power open the front trunk, you will need a good battery or a tender to access the trunk. Begin by locating the fuse panel down by the dead pedal on the driver's foot well. Use your finger and pull out from the opening on the panel, red arrow, and pivot it down and out from the foot well. Locate the fuse puller, yellow arrow, and remove it from the panel. Use the fuse puller to gently pull out the red tab beside it with a picture of the front trunk opening on it, red arrow. Connect the positive lead to the metal on the tab. Connect the negative lead to the door stay, red arrow. Do not connect it to the door hinge. It is painted and you want to have a metal to metal contact. Now connect the other ends to the positive first, then the ground of the new good battery or turn on your trickle charger. This will allow you to switch open the trunk. With the trunk open, the battery is located under a panel in the center of the trunk towards the windshield. Turn the plastic tabs, red arrows, and remove the panel. It will just hinge up and out. Use a 10 mm socket and remove the ground cable first, red arrow, then remove the positive cable, yellow arrow. Place both cables where they cannot accidentally come in contact with the post while you are working or installing the new battery. Detach the vent tube and make sure that it is clear and not pinched anywhere. Red arrow. Use a 13 mm socket and extension and remove the single bolt holding the battery hold down in place. Red arrow. You can now lift the battery out from the vehicle. It is heavy, so get a friend to help. Clean the battery tray before installing the new battery, and if it has been damaged by battery acid, replace it by removing the four 13 mm nuts and lifting it out. The battery hold down has several mounting positions depending on the type and make of battery you purchase. Red arrow. Installation is the reverse of removal. Depending on the year and options of your 997, you will most likely have to use your scan tool to reset some of the systems in the vehicle to get it to start and function properly. If you have a PDK, you will have to reset that system for the vehicle to start. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.